Hi, Phil Aston here from Now Spinning Magazine with a quick album review looking at a reissue of one of my favourite, well, this is my favourite Hawkwind album of all time from 1975, Warrior on the Edge of Time. But this review also has to take into account and inform you of a potential issue for anyone buying this new special edition um, because there is something you need to be aware of. Now I'm going to bring up two photographs for you now. Now you can see in these photographs that the way this album has been cut um, is that the on side two, now this is a long album anyway, on side two on the original album obviously the, 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 the grooves go up to the label to a certain point like they would in any standard uh, edition but on the new version those grooves go right up to the to the paper label in the centre to such a point that if you're playing this on an automatic turntable the needle will lift up halfway through Kings of Speed if not before okay so this is something you need to know if you're buying this album and your turntable is automatic the needle will lift up before the end of the track on side two now this is something if you have most people most most turntables now have a little button on, on my Technics I can switch off the automatic lift and it plays through absolutely perfectly okay so if it lifts up and you think oh my god what's going on then make sure your turntable for this album you switch off the automatic um, return to bass thing for those for the needle and you'll be fine if your record deck only has an auto setting you potentially have a, a problem so it's I wanted you to be aware of this because this is not a cheap pressing um, it is about 45 50 pounds I've seen it for I think most people are paying about 50 pounds for it it was cut at Abbey Road Studios you know so it's had the best attention to detail um, on it and let, let me just let me just point some things out uh, here because it, it potentially would this have happened in 1975 well obviously it didn't because this is my original and it plays fine on my on my record deck whether it's an auto deck or auto setting whatever else it just it just is fine so this has been cut differently now whether it was to get more sound out of the grooves I don't know it's a different mix this is the Stephen Wilson mix and it's a totally different sound anyway I have this on um, the little CD box set that also came out with the, the 5.1 surround sound the Stephen Wilson mix is very different I feel to the original mix anyway on the original mix Lemmy's bass is very clean <laughs> Lemmy with a clean bass sound but it, it is it, it's a very clean precise bass sound on that opening track of Salt of Battery it's just it's just perfectly in the mix on the on the Stephen Wilson mix there's more the keyboards are pushed forwards there's more kind of layering that's been brought out of the recording so to me it sounds very different it's a different experience so this isn't a case of thinking well I'll just retire my original um, I'm not going to retire my original because it's different and I like that mix I also like this mix which comes with you know the sleeve the design is got the you know the design is as those of you bought the original which mine had gone by the time I got it is all there it's not quite as sharp as the original because and you'll see this a lot so this is not a, a criticism of, of cherry red at all because this is going back to the 70s this is there's no photoshop there's no computers Pe people put together the artwork for things like this using paper card and colored ink and then they were far away in cabinets or sent off you know and they were and the, you know exactly the plates were put together nobody thought that in 50 years time we'd better put these safe all the people that work there, whatever this was designed, have long gone. Um, they could have literally long gone, or they, they're certainly not working there anymore. And the, the amount of people who have found themselves in charge of these, whatever these exhibits, original artifacts from the period of rock history are, they've gone. So a lot of these things have to be like copies of, uh, and they do their best to type them up. So it's not quite as sharp, or the colours aren't quite as precise as they were 
but they're as close as they're going to get. But as I say, the, it's, a, it's a fantastic album. It's my favourite Hawkwind album, and you can see why it's had this special treatment, why it's not included in you know, box sets with Hawkwind. They always do this one separately because they know it has a, sp a specific audience. Assault and Battery, The Golden Void, The Wizard of Blue is Horn, um, Oka Loka, The Demented Man, uh, Magnus, Standing on the Edge, Spiral Galaxy, Warriors, Dying Seas, and of course, Kings of Speed. Um, all fantastic stuff, so I cannot... I don't want to go into too much time here, but it's a great album. And if you're into Hawkwind, and I know a lot of people who watch this channel do love Hawkwind, but I just wanted you to be aware that this pressing has a quirk. Now, whether this is a an oversight at Abbey Road or somebody that wasn't checking everything, but this will not play on an auto deck to the end of the track on side two. You need to have it on your manual setting if you want to hear the whole of Kings of Speed. Okay, so just wanted you to know that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, lovely to hear from you and see what you think. Remember, music is the healer and the doctor. Stay safe, keep spinning those discs, and I shall see you very, very soon.